The nursery tab displays a list of all lines that are used as parents for the crosses I planned before. For each line we can see the number of crosses it participates as a male parent, as a female, and the total. Also the number of female plants is automatically calculated as the sum of all plants that this line is used as a female parent. The number of male plants is typically defined according to how many crosses this line participates in. I can filter all lines that are used as male parents using the male count text box. And then I can set the number of plants by editing the appropriate cell. And then save. The last action in this tab is to provide nursery numbers. For this, I click on the nursery button and give a starting number. Let's give it 301. Now that the nursery numbers are set, we can move on to the next tab. Just like in the observations field, the field map tab displays two lists. On the left there's the nursery list and on the right is the field list which initially is empty. The first action is to create plots in the field list. For this I click on the create plots button and give the number of field rows and the number of plots in each row. And now we can see that the field list is being populated with rows that represent plots in the field. The nursery table on the left can be displayed in two states. The first one shows the lines that are involved in crosses as male parents. It is indicated in the table's title. And then upon clicking on the Map Females button, The nursery list is changed to display the female parents. The female list is grouped according to common male, so we can move females into the field sorted by males. To move lines into the field, we select a group of females and drag them into the right table, just like this. And then I go on to the next group. and so on. The green sign indicates that these lines exist in the field. Once I'm done moving the females, I can start with the males. Click on the map males, and the males list appears. Now I can select them and move them into the next available plot. Then I click on Save. Of course, any other way for moving males and females will do. For example, some may prefer to move a single male and then all females associated with it, and so on. Anyway, the breeder can decide how he wants to set up the field. Unassigned plots at the end of the field can be deleted. I select them and use the Delete Selected Plots option. The last action is to provide plot numbers. For this, I click on Number Plots. Here I'll use the option Use Nursery Numbers. Now we can see the plot numbers and they are similar to the nursery numbers. If I filter a particular nursery number, say 3 or 5, we can see that all its plots are the same number concatenated with a letter. Next we can output reports that will help us do the planting. 
These reports are similar to what is described in the observations field demo. So here I'll skip it. And now we can continue to the next step. The crosses list section displays a table with all the crosses that we planned in the plan crosses tab. Here we can see the plot of the female parent that the cross will be extracted from. Then there's the cross name, its female and male parents, and an indication of its extraction status. Then we can generate a report that will allow us to do the actual fertilization in the field. Under reports we select crosses list. The report shows the male and female plots of each cross so we can move pollen from a male flower to the female to do the cross. The next action is to indicate for each cross its extraction status or in other words whether fruit or seeds were extracted. To do this we just click on the appropriate cell. And then save. Crosses where the seed is extracted will get a unique line name by the system. This is the name that should be written on the seeds envelope. As is true for all other tables in the system, this can be downloaded as an Excel file. Even in the crosses field, where the main purpose is extraction of hybrids, breeders may still want to make observations on parental lines or to take selections from them. This is done in the Field Plots tab, the same way as in the Observations field. For example, let's select the male parents using the Filter text box. Then I can take selections for each one of them by clicking on the Selection button. Leave it as Bulk and then Create. Clicking on a plot, we can see the selections that were just made. Also, these selections can be viewed and edited in the Observations tab. Once hybrids or selections are extracted, they are automatically updated on the appropriate germplasm set. We can view them under Browse, Germplasm, and Set. Here they appear under the Program A folder, and then Rehovoth Crosses 12, which was the name of the field. We can view the newly created germplasm, we can access each cross, and then view its details under the germplasm details tab. Also we can plot its pedigree. Clicking on the pedigree button, then deciding on the number of generations, backwards and forwards, and then show. After crosses have been extracted, we typically want to plant them and test them, possibly in a replicated trial in an observation field. So the next step in the breeding cycle would be to create a new observation field, import the newly extracted crosses from the list, and follow the rest of the steps of an observation field. This is the end of this demo that shows the crosses field process in Phenome Networks.